Hey guys, it's me Talha. Here is another tutorial on facade design in Revit. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to model this unique building facade design. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new videos every week. Now, let's get started. So here I am in Revit and as you can see I have this project file open. It's just a basic building model. If you would like to follow along with this tutorial, you can download it for free from my website cadnates.com. The link will be in the description. Anyway, to create such shapes in Revit, we need to use in place mass. So let's go to massing inside and click in place mass. And first just click close. And I'm going to click OK and first i'm going to add points here so let's select this point element from here and let's change the visual style to hidden line and i'm going to pick this point make sure that draw on face is selected here then we can pick this point and i'm just going to create points like this and we'll add one more here here as well and then I'm going to go back to level 4 and we'll add a point here a little further from the building like so and then we can go back to 3d and add other points let's go to front view and and we'll add points at each level like so the other points we'll add on the levels so let's go to level 4 again and I'm going to add one here another one here and go to level 3 and for this one I'm just going to add one point here another one at the corner of this Let's select this one and I'm going to copy this because we want to add a door here. Let's copy this at 10 feet. So this part is going to be the entrance and we are going to add a door here. Now I think uh, we can now start adding the reference lines. We are just going to connect these points and create triangular shapes. So let's select reference and then uh, select this line we can select draw on face and then make sure 3d snapping is checked now we can simply snap these points and start uh, creating triangular shapes and make sure this chain is also selected so you can uh, continuously draw reference lines and connect these points Hit skip and just join these two points. Here, I think we should add a point in the middle of this floor. Of course, I'm not uh, going to copy the exact same design, I just wanted to show you how you can create this kind of shapes in Revit. Anyway, make sure you're uh, selecting the reference line. Okay, I just forgot. Here we are going to add a door. So I'm just going to create outlines. Yeah, let's select this point and we can copy this. Select this point and we can copy this here. Or maybe we only want to have these points on the floor here like so now we can just join this again and here as well 
So I think I have connected all the points. If you have missed any, we will just uh, return back here and just add them. So once our points uh, and this shape is ready, we can now turn these triangles into a uh, surface or uh, into a mass form. So how do you do that? Well, you just need to select three of these uh, reference lines and then go here and click create form and you should see these two options we want to create flat one so i will select this there we go it's difficult to see in hidden line mode so if i change it to shaded we should see this uh, form created here so i will just quickly repeat this and just create triangular shapes here Okay, I have created all the triangular panels here, but as you can see, still it's just a mass form. So, to convert them into a glass or a solid geometry, we first need to click finish mass. And I will just go to architecture, and here we have curtain system. Just need to click on it, and now we can select all of these faces one by one. You don't need to hold control key. It will automatically select multiple panels. You just need to make sure that you are selecting a new panel each time. You can use Tab key to highlight a new panel each time before uh, before selecting it. Once we select all the panels, we can go ahead and click create system there we go we got this cool looking glass here but if you notice we have these grid lines on this glass to remove them just need to select any of the panels and as you can see curtain system is selected just click edit type duplicate and i'm going to call it 001 and let's remove the grid lines here as well hit ok Click delete grid line. There we go. We have created this cool looking glass shape here. Now to, to add the mullions, you can simply select mullion from here. And I'm going to use this two and a half inch by five inch rectangular. And then we can select all grid lines and just select this panel. There we go. We created this frame around this panel so i'm just going to quickly do that with all the panels here okay i have created the frames for this one as i said i'm going to add a uh, entrance door here to add a door we we want to remove this panel and we'll just create a curtain wall separately otherwise we will get an angled grid line here as you can see I try to add grid lines so to remove this panel you need to select this and click edit face selection if i hover over here you can see the minus symbol just click to deselect this face hit escape now i am going to go back to level one and we'll create a curtain wall here i think we should move this one so let's go back to 3d and edit mass again just hover over here and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight mass you can see mass is selected just click edit in place and then i am going to select the points here actually the points are not visible but when i make a selection you see the points are now highlighted so i am going to filter check none and select reference points click ok and go back to level one and we'll just move these points just take it to the middle of this wall perfect it should be fixed when we click finish mass there we go i will just remove this mullion 
and we will create a new one with the curtain wall so let's go back to level one and we'll create a curtain wall in the middle uh, of this wall here let's go to architecture select wall and i'm going to create a curtain wall from here like this let's go back to 3d and we'll select this curtain wall and edit profile let's delete these two lines and i'm going to use pick lines and pick the mullions here let's use trim trim here as well and then hit finish now before adding a door here i'm going to hide mass so let's go to massing inside and just turn it off from here there we go now we can clearly see our model to add the door here i will just go to left view and add curtain grids let's go to architecture select curtain grid and i am going to add okay i think it's still it's selecting the other face so let's hover over here hit tab key to highlight the curtain wall and then press hi on the keyboard to isolate this curtain wall now we can easily add our grid lines let's add a two feet six inches here and the door should be six feet and i'm going to add two feet from the top so the door height will be seven feet now let's load a curtain wall door go to insert load family and here go to doors and i'm going to select this curtain wall double storefront let's open this up and then i'm going to hover over here hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this panel and then select the door which we just loaded there we go the handle is not visible you can simply change the detail level to fine now i'm going to add mullions let's select all grid lines and make sure we are using the same mullion type just click once there we go here we should remove this mullion now to unhide the model we can go here click this goggles icon and select reset temporary there we go so we have created this cool looking building facade in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video